you sleep well last night? Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. How are you liking the food? Mm, it's delicious. It's my first time eating food from up on the surface. <laughs> Maybe it's because of the different ingredients? It's not just that. But rather, it's because I was the one who cooked it. Your culinary skills are improving by the day, Chime. You flatter me, Your Highness. So, Marion, what's on the schedule for today? Nothing special on my end. It's been a bit blustery the past few days, so I was thinking about raking up some leaves. I need to show Kilo the ropes. So I was thinking of taking her outside the kingdom. Excuse me? Didn't I explain it to you yesterday? We have to leave the kingdom and gather useful things. Outside the kingdom? Huh. Um, is there any chance I can stay here? Talos hasn't fully recovered yet. Oh no, I won't hear any of it. In this kingdom, you must earn your keep. Crown, will you be joining them on the excursion outside the kingdom today? It is a king's duty to observe their citizens as they carry out their duties. I would be happy to accompany them. Oh, you'll be joining us? What an honor! Uh... We should set off at once. I'll stay here and wait for your return. So that robot of yours is a means to stay on the surface for an extended period? Yeah, that's right. It uses the same core as Nikkei's for power, so it lasts a while. But it does need to be recharged from time to time, though. It's covered in a layer of nanomachines, so it's capable of minor self-repairs. The built-in AI system is capable of numerous functions. That's all well and good, but I presume its ammo reserves are limited? The amount of time it could last up on the surface would be limited. Actually, it's equipped with a 3D printer that's capable of creating its own ammunition out of various materials. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, why are you two looking at me like that? You are quite talented. Our kingdom could use someone like you. Are you sure you're talking about me? Can any other Nikkei's commandeer this robot? No, that honor is mine alone. Huh, that's too bad. Anyway, let's get to work. All you need to do is search this area and pick up anything that looks useful. How do we determine what's useful or not? Batteries take the highest priority, followed by electronic devices. That's then followed by metal and wooden materials. What do you use all those for? Various things here and there. Batteries and electronic devices are always in short supply. And the other materials can be used to maintain the kingdom's upkeep. How do you mean? The kingdom was originally a fortress on an artificial island that was used as a tourist destination. It has been in a state of disrepair for some time now. Okay, I'm getting it now. But how do you go about collecting all this stuff exactly? Just by sight? Precisely. Such labor is necessary if you want to get what you want. On particularly fruitful days, I come back with both hands full. Now, let's proceed on our route. Wait just a moment. <laughs> Talos. Scan for any batteries and electronic objects within a two-kilometer radius. Only show results for objects that still retain more than half of their functionality. Understood. Scan complete. 42 objects detected. Good. Let's move. What are you doing? Wait here for a moment. I'll be right back. Hey! What are you doing? That's dangerous! I'll just be a minute. Oh! No, 
way! Talos scanned the area, and this is what we turned up. It's just a basic function, but still... Impressive! This is enough to last us for an entire week! <laughs> it sure is! Seems we'll have some free time on our hands in the near future. We appreciate you doing this for us, Kilo. Sure, don't mention it. Do you see where these bricks have fallen off? After filling this with the mortar, it just needs to be smoothed out. The castle walls are quite old, so we've got to fix them right away. Otherwise, it could be dangerous. Not only would it be unsafe, but it would also tarnish the kingdom's reputation. In that case... Talos, scan the gaps between the bricks. We'll use the 3D printer to make pieces that fit the openings. Use this mortar as the material. Understood. Material created. These should fit into the gaps nicely. They, they fit perfectly, like a glove. This is absolutely incredible. You're truly a citizen of the highest order. Huh. Can I attack now? May all of us remain standing. Please wait a minute. Uh, Rappi told me so. Please wait a minute. Securing victory for their subjects is a king's duty. I'm absolutely stunned. You're simply incredible, Kilo. Scavenging for materials and transporting them, repairing the castle walls... There's nothing you can't do. <laughs> Talos is remarkable as well. Especially its smooth chest. <sighs> I heard that the castle walls have been greatly reinforced thanks to you two. That's not all. The long-awaited defense system is finally nearing completion. What defense system? We're going to be installing defensive weapons atop the castle walls. Um, I don't mean to be a stick in the mud, but aren't those weapons terribly outdated? All we have are cannons, catapults, and the like. Are those really capable of doing any damage to raptures? Don't you worry. Thanks to Talos, we were able to equip ourselves with the latest cutting-edge weapons. We can handle the raptures and then some. Wow, are they truly that powerful? You bet they are. We were given everything from the blueprints to how to operate them. Thankfully, the kingdom had a lot of materials gathered, so it worked out. However, they're still makeshift weapons, and will require constant upkeep to remain operational. Yes, yes, who cares? The important thing is that the fortifications are complete. Thanks to this fine duo, we have ourselves a bona fide stronghold. Well done, Kilo. Keep it up. Oh, um, sure thing. Speaking of, uh, could you take a look at this? It's a versatile device that can grab just about anything with ease. How do you operate it? It's a prototype, so you'll have to wait before I can give you a proper demonstration. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm gonna head to bed. See you tomorrow. Hmm. Sleep well. Ah. Uh... <sighs> you know that mess of wiring I was struggling with for an entire week? She fixed it all in one fell swoop. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think that girl's meant to be here. Hmm. 
Talos, wake up. Reboot complete. Hello, Kilo. Tell me what will happen if I stay here. Shall I proceed with the ultimate objective, being an escape to the Ark? Yes. This place is safe, but the environment is unforgiving and cannot be considered a civilized place like the Ark. Commodities are scarce, and the infrastructure is below the standards you usually expect. However, due to the jamming systems integrated into the castle wall, this place remains relatively safe despite being on the surface. You will prove to be a useful asset in this place. It will exert a significant influence on you and grow increasingly reliant on you. Go on. You will oversee key tasks for the kingdom, such as scavenging, repairs, and manufacturing. As a result, you will become a key figure without whom the kingdom cannot function. Does that mean I can establish myself here? That is correct. I see. Sleep mode. Command confirmed. Switching to sleep mode. A key figure. Hmm. That would be you. Not me.